Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm a photographer, as Sarah has mentioned already. I'm a landscape photographer in particular. Um, but I occasionally photograph people as well. Uh, I'd like to segregate landscape photography into three elements, capturing beauty within a frame, nature's beauty within a frame, um, being in the right place at the right time, and um, giving my viewers a sense of presence. You know, I don't like people just to look at my image blankly, but to sort of, you know, get a sense of, you know, being there as well. Um, when I, I initially started landscape photography sometime between 2009 and 2010, and I remember when I first started, um, I wasn't, you know, I was trying to sort of seek knowledge and I was trying to sort of learn from the local landscape photographers here in Iman, but I was often disappointed. Um, it was mostly probably because I was a female and a f it's, it's a, you know, it's a male dominated field. Um, I remember I was even approached once by a local landscape photographer, an Omani local landscape photographer, who kind of told me that we've got a lot of females that enter this field, but never seem to continue, or they don't just last for long. Um, so from then on, I kind of was, you know, disappointed with what he, with these kind of words, and I wanted to sort of prove them wrong. Um, I eventually like realized that if I wasn't going to learn here. I had to sort of, you know, take the initiative to sort of learn on my own. Um, maybe, you know, just uh, take that sort of first step. And I sort of did that, you know, by reading um, about landscape photography online um, through and watching videos about landscape photography, um, reading about landscape photographers. So I kind of sort of got into the basics of landscape photography, but it wasn't yet enough. Um, I guess at that point, I decided that I, it was time for me to sort of go and, you know, try and seek knowledge and experience from like internationally known landscape photographers. And at that point, I was, you know, I made the will to sort of travel to Iceland and I actually soloed to Iceland. So imagine an Arab female traveling all her, her own all the way to Iceland. Um, thank you. So... I was able to photograph with a very well-known, internationally known photographer, sorry, landscape photographer. Um, I managed to grow a lot from that experience on its own. I then decided to travel to New Zealand as well. And I, you know, I traveled there with a few, uh, with a group of photographers, landscape photographers. And it's mainly just to sort of seek knowledge and experience from those, you know, who have already, you know, like photographed for quite some time. Um, so these are just, you know, like the occasionally photographed people. Uh, this was actually captured in Peru. This is in Bolivia uh, from a very recent trip. So what I'm trying to say here is that, you know, like you'll get people sort of, you know, people will try to sort of bring you down. And there are so many people that sort of kind of like won't believe in you. Um, and that's what I kind of had to sort of deal at the beginning you know, I had to face at the beginning. Um, being a female and, you know, being an Arab female, I'm not capable enough, um, I won't make it or I won't last, or it's just too dangerous for me to sort of get out into the wild and photograph. Um, but I just, you know, it was, it was my passion. It was something I'm really passionate about. It might have evolved out of my love and passion for the great outdoors. I really enjoy just, you know, being able to sort of be in nature on its own. And... I'm so glad that I was able to sort of, you know, uh, link it with my passion with landscape photography as well. This is in Oman, so we've got amazing places here. You know, you've got to like get out and explore as well. Um, so I had to sort of as well get into, you know, like I had to get into some physical training. Um, I think you've already seen a photo of me ice climbing in Iceland. That was, you know, um, part of my training as well. Uh, I, you know, I've hiked for several hours, uh, for several hours. I've managed to even hike to Machu Picchu and be the first Timani, well, be one of the first Timanis to hike the Inca Trail, um, along with my husband, who's over there photographing. Yay! <laughs> the picture has already passed. It was a photo of Machu Picchu. I'm not sure if you guys know or are familiar with it. It's just one of the seven of wonders of the world. It took us four days to get there. 
Um, so yeah, it's, you know, if, if you're passionate about something, no matter where the obstacles are, you can overcome them. Like, just believe in yourself and, and just get out there and take that first initiative. Don't make excuses. Never make excuses. Just believe in yourself. Because I really believe, you know, I sort of had a lot of people trying to sort of, you know, uh, tell me that I can't do it. But I'm able to tell them today that here I am, standing here, and I have made it. These are just some of the photos. This is uh, Rasid Jins and Oman. So some of the photographs that you've seen have been captured in um, New Zealand, uh, Iceland, Peru, Bolivia, and so many of them are in your mind as well. I'm trying to sort of promote my country because we do have amazing places that are worth to visit. This is in Iceland. These are ice on a beach just before sunrise. Um, this is one of my favorite locations in Oman. It's, uh, so it's called Mahout. I think it's somewhere in Mahout. Hakuf. Is it Hakuf? Yeah. Um, it feels like planet Mars to me. So truly an, an amazing place with amazing rock formation. And this final one is also in Iceland. These are lava sands. This was actually captured in midday, so, you know, it's, it's good to sort of see all the details in the photos, in the photo. Thank you all. Um, I'm really happy to be here.